relatório está aprovado por sete votos a quatro. A six-month investigation drawn to a close. On Tuesday, Brazil's senators approved a report recommending that President Jair Bolsonaro be tried on charges ranging from charlatism and misusing public funds to crimes against humanity for his failed pandemic response. Essa responsabilidade é de muita gente, tem muitos indiciados, mas ela é principalmente desse presidente da República, desse serial killer que tem compulsão de morte e continua a repetir tudo que fez anteriormente. The 1,200-page report also urged the country's Supreme Court to suspend Bolsonaro's social media accounts for continuously spouting misinformation about COVID-19. Just last week, Facebook took down the far-right leader's false claim that people who are fully vaccinated have a higher chance of contracting AIDS. Along with 77 others, three of Bolsonaro's children have also been cited in the latest document, leading them to hit back at what they believe to be a smear campaign. É um relatório extremamente frágil, juridicamente falando, um relatório político que em nada beneficiou a população brasileira. Despite the vote, it remains unlikely that Bolsonaro will leave his post or see prison time. Charges can only be brought against him by the Attorney General and impeachment proceedings by the lower house speaker, two of his own appointees. The crimes against humanity charge however, has the potential to be tried at the International Criminal Court. Regardless of the outcome, the report will certainly add to Bolsonaro's already devastating approval ratings as he heads into next year's elections, which he is currently on course to lose.